And this area has really got a uh, sense of activity to it. All the drones and stuff flying around. He's got a talk prompt. I'm going to hope that's helpful. Hello, talk prompt. Hey, Chief. Looking to trade. Let's see what you've got. No. No. I thought that before the talk prompt showed up like that prominently when something was actually going on. So now I'm a little confused. Hmm. A little bit trapped in the loop of like, how do I tell where to go next? It's not an easy position. Like, I came here to do the big battle. And now there just isn't a battle. <laughs> I'm like, alright. I Sorry, I'm slightly distracted. The moment I started talking, the dog in the room just started, like, pacing around like crazy. <laughs> After sleeping. All these people, these creatures, machines, they all seem so lost. They don't realize what an opportunity they were given. They were able to start over and they simply destroyed the world again. That's how the world works. That's how the world runs. We repeat our past failures and hope our children don't do the same. So nobody ever learns. This is all there is. Just to be repeated over and over. I just feel so... helpless. You feel helpless. Shit, I thought you'd know emotions. I have emotions, Mark. I may not like them, but I have them. I was a success. I won. They used me over and over. And then they won. They laughed and cheered and gave each other high fives. They celebrated and drank. I can still smell their breath. I can feel their gloved hands. They put me on display, opened me up for everyone to see. I felt afraid. They didn't care. They just wanted their accolades. And then they planned to take me apart all over again, try more experiments. I did not want that to happen. She is just a constant source of horror. Just everything about her backstory, everything she comes out with. I'm a little confused by how she is framed like an escaped experiment, but she was introduced as like a loyal cog in the machine, essentially, and she's still trying to get back to them, but it seems like she wouldn't want to at all. Pooch, you tell me the prototype experiment failed. I had no idea. I'm so sorry. I do not like this feeling. I'm capable of feeling every emotion. I even felt guilty when I lied about it. Lying saved me. I told them I could feel no emotions. Their readouts conflicted with what I said. So they called me a failed experiment, a glitched agnate. They made me guard a place that nobody could reach. I liked it there in the shadows. I could just sit. Then I heard you and Dawn. And then all this happened. Thought I would miss sitting in the shadows. But it is warmer out in the sun. I'd rather be out here. Ah. She pretended she had no emotions. They thought she failed. So she got exiled to a dumb posting where she doesn't get anything done, basically. And then went on an adventure. It wasn't your fault, Pooch. You know that, right? The knowledge makes it no easier. But not all emotions are a burden. Some are good. Some are quite good. Speaking of Pooch, the real dog in the room has also settled down. I think it was just the sudden talking made them think something was happening. But actually, nothing's happening. It's just me going from editing to recording. Oop. The whole camera changed perspective for a second there. Uh. Ok. 
kettle. Isn't kettle where I went? No. Hmm. Hmm. Starting a new session is especially hard in this game because it's such an open world, but it's actually kind of unclear generally on what I'm supposed to be accomplishing next. Like, I, had, I thought I had momentum with the whole combat arena thing. I, all the pieces fell into place, but now I need tokens. Meanwhile, it's also not always easy to tell. I think I want to go to Chinzenyama. It's not always easy to tell what places are. I was introduced to so many places so rapidly that remembering their names is not always easy. But Chinzenyama is next to the Halkett Hangar. So I think that is the place I'm thinking of. I want to see if I can like try again or something. Because this is one of my loose ends in my inventory is... I've got this gourd of mother's milk, but I never found like the plant I was supposed to get in order to gain access to the... to the city where the guy wants to talk to his ancestors. So around here, there's just like a handful of people laying around in this old abandoned airport. In particular, you. You have plants around you. Strange, uncultivated seeds. Okay. I was thinking back to when I stole this earlier from somebody's body. And, like, I'd been there before and not seen the prompt, but then I came back and saw the prompt. So you gotta really get close to some of these things. So I think I can combine this with this. Right, there you go. You, have to, you can't click, you have to drag. The rancid smell of curdled milk emanates from the gourd. There we go. Uh, do I have a quest log in this game? I don't think I do. How do I find that guy again? Where was he? So Kettles were the, the prominent city, right? In Bulwark... Was it Hanasi? Because of the first map. It was not in the first map. Right, I also have the military transponder, so I can go check out the military location. That's the thing to keep in mind. Alright, I have to be super careful. There's basically invisible items you can pick up. I question that a little bit. <laughs> the choice of having them be... You have to get so right on top of them to make the, the pop-up happen. That you could completely miss them. And then you're like... Then you're... Then you don't... If you don't... If you miss something, you're like... How do you know what you missed? <laughs> so then you just start wandering in circles. I could that this could really get me in trouble. I'm hoping Hanasi is the place I'm thinking of. Hanasi Junkyard. This is the place that looked like an arena. Maybe I can get into battles here. Because they're like, oh, you can only get in here if you've already been in a battle before. Oh yeah, here's the wall. That was right. You're right. Thank you. 
I can't talk to this guy at all. Uh, I should be able to review our previous conversation. Because he had like a procedure for me to follow. Amat of the Kettle Maidens? Oh, I remember Amat. That's the wrong person. Knowledge Slave. Commandant Dirk. Nope, that's a robot. Bombay. Loose Lips is creepy. Grave. Now we want to go further back than that. Shongolo's the train. Babs is the merchant. Cottonmouth. You know, if you get herb seeds, you need mama's milk to make it grow strong. It's milk from mama. Soaking herb in a milk makes it special for the Hanasi. Did I do it wrong? What if I did it wrong because I didn't uh, grow the seeds already? I only made it... Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna go with my my previous theory. I don't think this game will let me just combine things and break them and then ruin the playthrough or anything. So let's go on the lead that I just realized via my... I keep reflexively running back to my vehicle and I don't think I have to ever do that. That woman was running a garden. She was called a Kettle Maiden. So I think I'll find her at one of the Kettle locations. Hey, civilian. What? What? Who, who are you yelling at? <laughs> hey, civilian! Okay. What? <laughs> Doesn't say Cottonmouth's location, does it? I'm sorry, not, not his location. I'm out of the Kettle Maidens. Take a bit of a break, Maki. My legs are killing me. I haven't run this much since bush training. I bet being out in the bush like this brings back memories, eh? It does. Some good ones, some bad ones. But it's nice to be out here. I forgot how much I love the bush. What are some of the good memories? When we had some time off, we used to go fishing in Enki's Bay. We had no fishing poles, but we had a lot of hand grenades. Oh, Pete actually cracked a tooth on some shrapnel from one of the fish. I'll tell you that being out there, you realize one thing. None of the shit we were taught to worry about matters. Everybody bleeds when they get shot. Everybody cries when they're lonely. We are all red on the inside. Don, you know you can talk to me about what you went through, eh? Maybe it will help. It's too late for that, Marky. That stuff is inside of me. It's not going anywhere. I get why Dad was the way he was. I was scared I'd become just like him if I stayed. Don, you're not Dad, okay? You were usually the strong one in the family. 
I just wish you wouldn't run. Me too, Marky. Me too. Okay, this time is over. Let's get back to this. Oh no. I get why dad was the way he is. No, 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 the courtyard. Dark direction to go in. But suggesting that he was an, an alcoholic so that he could constantly try to hide from his own memories. Chanting is a neat detail as you come into the area. Wanderer, you have returned. And you bring with you new soil on your boots, new sand in your hair. Oh, well, you know, it's hard to stay clean out there. A man with many layers of dust and soil has many stories to tell. It is a blessing. Can you please grow something special for me? Can you grow something special for me? I must warn you, though, it's narcotic. Oh, wanderer. This garden gives life to such an abundance of plants and herbs. It is not up to us to judge how people use those earthly gifts. Perhaps some good could come of this herb you wish to grow. I shall cultivate these for you, if you can grant me one favor. Find my lost sisters, be they alive or dust. Um... What? Find my lost sisters, whether they be alive or dust, sounds like a big fucking ask. <laughs> and I get nothing more? She's just done talking. Here are the seeds we spoke about. Hmm. Where did these come from? They seem not entirely plant. They have a scent about them. What sort of scent? A scent of life, of feeling and emotion. These are not mere seeds. They are offspring, or more accurately, they could be, if they are properly cared for. If you can forgive a curious mind, what is this plant to be used for? In the Hanasi culture, they use it to commune with their ancestors. Well, we should never shun another culture for their ways of ancestral worship. Perhaps you could let them know that this plant they are using has the potential for life. It could help open their eyes, change their ways. Whenever you return, Wanderer, there will be a bushel of this herb waiting for you. Whenever I return... Hmm. I'm a little confused. Maybe this find my lost sisters is like an an outstanding request and not a something to do now in order to get the th the service done. Like I'll do this but in turn take on this quest because she just seems to be proceeding forward. She also didn't really explain what that meant or how to do it. I didn't get really any context. She just drops that line, find my sisters, whether they be alive or ash. And then just kind of proceeded onward like she never said that. I'm like, huh? Oh, you what? All right, well, I can't talk to this guy, so. I don't know how I'm supposed to awaken their understanding. Am I just supposed to leave and come back and that's it? <laughs> I'm a little unclear. The 
the world design and the and the narrative and the voice acting is all really neat, but the uh, the puzzle design of its adventure game gameplay is confusing in some cases of like what they want from me. I think part of it does come from the characters kind of having like a slightly convoluted logic to how to like proceed in each quest. Followed by if if you get confused about who to talk to next, all the characters who are not the right character completely clam up and never say anything again. They go completely silent. Possibly due to the voice acting. Like, having to cover that many ed edge cases would have required voice acting that they maybe didn't have the resources for. And there's, there's just enough situations where I'm like, I think I kind of get what you want from me, but I don't really get, like, what the steps are of how to perform this task. Here we go. Here's a weird detail, by the way. You drag items to combine up another item. But to move something, you click on it and then click. Fresh herb, hey, little spot. You found some. I did. And it wasn't easy. Now I can see my dad again. Sure. I have so many questions to ask him. If what I said sounds confusing, it's that you can click on something to have like a toggle move where you pick it up and then you put it down by clicking again. But you can also drag. And those sound like they would just be two different uh, ways of interacting that are equally valid. But dragging lets you combine things and clicking does not let you combine things. Meanwhile, clicking lets you uh, give an item to a character or to, to an environment piece. But dragging does not. <laughs> They're me they have mutually exclusive function functions, but I'm not entirely sure why. Is there anything I need to know before I meet Uti? There's a lot you should know. But first, you are too small to be taken serious. <laughs> and second, you're gonna have to take part in the challenge of Tik to see if you can commune with the Dulaha and Varia before you are allowed to talk to Uti. It will be an honor to learn more about your culture. And that's he is ancient. We were proud warrior people. But now, when I hear my dad talk about his time as a Anasi Umilo, a fire warrior, it fills my heart with pride. I thank the Chiza and Yama for showing us a way to talk with our ancestors. But what have we given up in return? Anasi used to fight here in the arena for rights to be champion and to lead armies into battle. Now it is just used to sacrifice animals to Varia. Tik ritual is as close to battle that a Anasi will get. Can you tell me more about the Tik challenge? Tik is a ritual challenge to show if you are blessed by Daris, blessed with knowing to see far ahead. But Tik can also be used by one Anasi to take the belongings of another. Such gambling. <laughs> A little bit. Yeah. Ritual gambling. Now, small man, you brought me my herb. You may go inside, and may Varia wrap you in his skin. That's a line. May Varia wrap you in his skin. <laughs> This villager wears a bleached white ram skull mask over her head. The hulking Hanasi giant wears splashes of white war paint across his chest and arms. Is there like a whole area down here? This place smells like old meat. The ramshackle home has been built using sheet metal and car parts. Oh, there's someone up there. 
I guess that's the rainbow cloud. Small Hanasi dwellings are bolted onto the building's side, sprouting like barnacles in a ship's hull. What's over here? Oh. I think I know why it smells like old meat here. Oh yeah. The bodies of fallen Hanasi are displayed with pride and respect. Uh... That's one interpretation. <laughs> uh, that's not usually what those kinds of bodies mean. They're usually print. They're usually like the prisoners of war or something are treated like that, like a lynching or something, a witch hunt, and it's something a lot of no, a lot of a lot of significantly more macabre outcomes. Really, looks like someone has made the car's remains into their home. Oh. That car does not offer a lot of space. I say that, but it looks... It looks fucking massive. Is That looks like it's just like a... Like an avalanche truck or something. Like, it doesn't look massive. And yet, look at me compared to it. Like, that shouldn't... It feels like that it's larger than it's supposed to be, almost. Like, how did that vehicle ever fit on roads? Under the influence of herb, the Anasi villagers sway and stumble. Both of you stick close to me. The taxi's inner tubes are flat. The engine has been removed. There's a lot of old vehicles where they just kind of use the shell of the vehicle and all of its actual functions are removed. Or not. The air is thick with bittersweet smell of herb. Three new ones back to back. Hanasi. Someone in a plague doctory like skull mask. Lots of masks. Oh. That looks recognizable. Hmm. I, I think it reminds me of that one game that had a sequel. I think it has a character called Father Mother or something. I can't think of its... Xenoclash. The air is... Th yep. The Hamasi... Hanasi man looms on top of the bar counter, swaying to the music only he can hear. Something potent must be brewing in this thing. A dog-like creature snarls and snaps at a small vicious primate. Oh, they're having a little battle. Ah, uh, the ah, uh, the little primate has like a splitting open face, like the creature from uh, Stranger Things. The dog kind of looks like the the uh, dog creatures from Mass Effect. Uh, I kind of want to look at both of these up close because I can't. It's hard to make out from here what they look like. Is anyone ever going to split these these two up? They're just going at it. Like the fortress has a bird's eye view over the distant skyscraper. The body of a car has been chopped down the middle to make home to uh, to make the matriarch's throne. So that's who the picture was, of the person with the red mane. They, uh, appear to be on fire, which is confusing. How, is, how does that work? How are they remaining on fire? Slabs of beef are drying slowly. 
Infused with the aroma of burning herb. Two evil looking oversized tick bugs face off against one another inside their wooden cage. Bets placed, the eager villagers settle down and wait for the bug fight to begin. So this is the tick challenge? It's like a Pokemon battle? <laughs> Has this small boy come to challenge Hoha to tick? I'm here to speak to Oti. <laughs> Even if the voice is small. I understand I have to play this game first before I speak to your leader. Tick is more than a game, small boy. Tick is a way to see if your spirit can commune with your future. The trackers themselves found Tick Box. Back when the sky was black and the world was cold. Hanasi have kept them alive all this time. Generations of fighting creatures, bred in the ether itself. When a tick bug dies, so dies a lineage that goes back to time before the Mupani. Yeah, fine, bring it on. Uh uh, not so fast there, boy. Before you can challenge in tick. You need to bless the tick box with a bushel of herb to allow them to see into the future. Bring me some herb that we may bless these creatures and then, yes, we will play. Co mo <laughs> what? Again? <laughs> oh no. Uh. Hopefully the implication of what she said earlier is that there will be more herb every time I come back. Otherwise I have to start over the fetch quest I just did, but worse off than before. Because this time I wasn't even given the, the what mother's milk first. Uh... Oh boy. <laughs> Alright. Every time I... This game, this game, these, these people, these people make things difficult. There's all these challenges you have to go through to prove yourself before you can accomplish anything you want to do, but you also don't have the entrance fee for any of the challenges every time, apparently. <laughs> they just don't want to talk to me.